Hi everyone, uh, I'd like to introduce you into a game that's based on a very popular game called Connect 4 which you're all familiar with and I'm just calling this one Get Connected. You know, as I said before, coming up with a name is probably the hardest part. Um, I also find that uh, often if the games are ones that the kids can relate to other games that they already know that it takes away half the challenge of teaching the games. So the idea of this game once again, the thing I'm really uh, passionate about is learning our number facts in a number of different ways. In this game, we, uh, we're we just going to start with a trusty old two dice, or if you'd like to use cards, you could use those as well. The ace can represent one. And it's just a case of uh, estimating what certain number facts would be, and then playing connect four, I've just drawn up a grid on here. So it can be first to get four in a row, you don't have to even connect four, it could be first to lose 10 counters in a row or gain 10 counters in a row. You can, different rules for different schools. Basically all we do is I roll the first dice and say if a, a six comes up. I'm predicting what the neck, the product will be with the next number. So I might be thinking, well, six times one, it'll be six, six times two will be 12, six times five will be 30. So we're predicting where the answer will be. Now, I've set myself a range here. If I can say whether the answer is going to be, what did I choose today? I said it's going to be less than um, 20. I get it correct, then I can put a counter on. But if I say, I think the answer is going to be less than 20, it's more than 20, I don't get to put a counter on the board. If I said, if I rolled the dice and a four comes up and I'm going, okay, I think it's going to be greater than 20, the answer. And if it is, I can put a counter on there. So we're making predictions about where our, what are the potential answers that could be. Now, you could decide whether it's going to be less than 20, more than 20, less than 30, more than 30, 40 or 50. Uh, a little activity in itself could be to work out, well, how many potential answers are there that are less than 20 when I roll my two dice, or less than 40 or less than 50, greater than 50, and so on. I did a little um, examination with it, and I've just gone less than 20, because it's, uh, it's not exactly even chance, but it's fairly even. And once again, you could decide which numbers to use. So, you roll the dot one dice, predict what the next number is going to be with it's going to be the answer is going to be less than or more than a given number if it is you place a counter on there first to get four in a row wins the game here's what it looks like okay players here's how we play get connected now what i've got here is just my um just a bit of a board here I've got my trusty dice now what i'm doing i'm going to roll the first dice and get a number then i'm going to predict what the next number might be now, if I rolled a, like a, a nine, and I'll multiply this, I'm thinking, well, nine times one, nine times two, nine times three, is it going to be less than 20 or greater than 20? And as I said before, you can choose what your greater than, less than number will be. That in itself will be a, a little activity for the kids. They're practicing their number facts constantly. So nine times, I know nine ones is nine, nine twos, is 18 or oh, so after that I'm going above 20 there's probably more chance of getting something above 20. Now when I uh, checked out how many potential answers are below 20 I think there's about 42 greater than 20 is about 39 so it's fairly even but as we know it's not always 50 50. So nine times I'm going to say it's greater than 20. Whoops nine times two is oh, 18. 18 no, I said it's going to be greater than 20, so nothing for the green person. Now over to the red person. They've got five. Five times, oh, what are the options? Five ones, five twos, five threes, five fours. So it's about four chances of less than 20 or 20 or less. That means six, 20. I only go less than. Let's go. Five times two is 10. So they get to place a counter. Back to the green person. And they've got nine. Oh, we know what happened last time, don't we? I'm going to go greater than 20. Nine times, oh, it's a liner. Nine times nine. Well, here we go. Nine times nine is 81. They can put it wherever they like. Now, you don't have to um, put 
start at the bottom, schools for different rules, different schools, you can put it wherever you like, but I might go there, and so on and so forth. So we could play till someone gets four in a row in any direction. We could play it until someone gets rid of their 10 counters on the board anywhere. So it could be just anything. But be clear about um, explaining how you worked out your number facts and being sure of the answer before you put it on there. It can be changed in a number of ways. So that's Get Connected. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers.